from beginning to end. Handyman Lou, how you doing? Here's a new project. That's why they call me Handyman Lou. We are starting a foundation for uh, 18 by 21 foot uh, concrete pad. So we can bring in a building about that size. There's all the stones and the, uh, there's John back here who's helping me out. And uh, we'll have this, should have this gravel done between here to early tomorrow morning. It's a lot of gravel put in here, a lot of uh, stone. <coughs> he has to leave in a few minutes. So uh, I forgot to uh, show how he was, he did the forming and, and then I ordered the gravel today. I'm sorry, I'm sorry the stone. So uh, the foundation will be that thick by the time we get down this end. It's pretty thin down there. It's a lot thicker on this side than it is on that side. Uh, when we're done with the quarter stone, three quarter stone, we'll come back, give you a little shot of that. And then we'll come back and show you how we're mixing the cement. Doing, this is, oh, by the way, we're doing this by ourselves. We're not, we're not uh, doing a truck. With the truck coming in here and pouring cement, which is just, it, I'm doing this all under, uh, right now, this, this cost right now is $17,000. Right now, as it is. If, $1,700, not $17,000, sorry, $1,700. I think that's including the bags of uh, cement with John's help. If I would have called in a, a crew to do this, it'd be five thousand dollars probably. Simple wheelbarrow, shovel, and a uh, rake to grade it. Once we're done, once it's fully. Uh, in case with the uh, three-quarter stone, we'll bring you back for a second look before we start the cement. All right, this is how far we've gotten. This is the grade. It's up pretty high. And, uh, I say another hour. We we'll probably have it done. We'll put the form back over on the front part. But I got that part there pretty level. I'm doing the leveling. And he's dumping the gravel here. He's dumping the, uh, the sunshine is too bright. Let's go from this side down that way. And it's still too bright. But you get the idea. This is all pretty level. We got it pretty good. And then is the deeper end. Right over there to that corner is the deepest end. And then it goes down here towards the front. But also down here is a little deep. You can see how high that is. Compared to that side, oh, that's really high. That's twice as high. So we're working our way from that end this way. Keep on working until we get to the Almost to the end here, and then we'll put the form back in. I gotta go get some, uh, I gotta go get some, uh, this is, remember when I first showed you the uh, pile? Now the pile is uh, less than half, about three quarters of it. About a quarter, yeah, about half of it. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Nope, this is not the section we just did for the slab floor, uh, but this is it. The shadows, the light in the uh, tree shade is playing a trick, making it look uneven, but it's not. Completely filled in. Tomorrow morning the concrete comes we get that done hopefully I remember to pull out the camera and watch that being done because I don't have nothing to do with it my uh, uh, 
the guy who was uh, the guy John he's gonna help me out with that uh, my brother John he uh, had a friend in the concrete business cement business whatever it is have a truck come down here but, uh, anyways so then I backfilled this way I want to do is take the rest of this what's left over this is five tons we use five tons in there I bought five tons this is what's left over there should that looks like maybe a ton and a half ton here and what I'm gonna do is uh, I also ordered uh, the building I ordered it today that's gonna be here in friggin 20 weeks from now yeah it's like two and a half two or three months three and a half months before the building goes up, that concrete slab should be friggin' set and dry by the time that thing comes here. So already it's gonna be installed and uh, for me and everything. It's gonna be delivered and installed here. But anyways, in the meantime, I'm gonna be shoveling all of this up to the front of this here and making a driveway upwards towards the concrete. So I can drive up the gravel will kind of lift me, you know, allow me to lift up the vehicle, ramp it up, in other words. And uh, right now, that's about it at this point. I'll have to turn you back on tomorrow morning. It's supposed to be here at 7 30, who knows? And we'll uh, watch them pour the uh, cement concrete. Okay. Any man Lou, see you tomorrow, and a few, or actually a few minutes for you. All right, uh, on the garage build, I put the uh, all the stone that was left over here. I uh, ramped it up to where the uh, garage door might be. Probably can't see it from this angle. There you go. Now you can see it going up. Uh, we were supposed to get the pour in on uh, Friday, but it didn't work out. Uh, we didn't have the proper tools to do the pour in here, so. Uh, we're thinking about Wednesday. Today is Father's Day, Sunday. So, we'll just uh, catch you on when the uh, pour is in. Or while they're pouring it, I'll just film it. And uh, we'll, uh, then we'll come back when it's dry. Yeah, all right, Handyman Lou here. Uh, I went over to Home Depot. I rented out the... Uh, holes and the float concrete float I bought a couple new trowels the round trowel here it's got a round end on it on both sides it makes where there's no line and this is the edger so it's a curved end so you can make call, break it away from the two off first here's a corner piece there's a different type of float and here's a square trowel And we'll see what we got going on here, you know. We'll see how we, and then we got this here, this small trowel. We'll see what we need, what we're using. And this is, uh, so when they pour the cement in, let's take a walk. Hold on, I'm missing a tool. I'll show you what I'm doing here. When they pour the cement, I have plastic liner on the bottom of this uh, area so that it will not let weeds grow through and I have to cut off the plastic liner as low as I can go
and this liner is reinforced with string so it really makes it tough and I gotta go as long as I can I gotta go as low as the uh, as low as the rocks will allow me to go. So that the concrete can bond to the wood instead of the plastic. Because the concrete is not gonna like the plastic. Now I'm only halfway through. Hang on. Figure it out a different way. Let's try it this way. So we put the plastic in here to hold the rock in the place. And it's a mat. But the guy I'm working with says we've got to take it out. Quarter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks 
Like the made of rock is gonna start falling out. Do this other side, and I'm done. They get done because they they want it. I don't believe I should have cut that, but according to the guy, he says I have to have her. I have to cut her so the cement will stick to the wood and you can pull away from the wood. But well, as you can see, air gaps over there. There's a big air gap over here. Front, yeah, it's covered pretty good except for that corner. Well, we'll see what happens. Tomorrow is the big pour. We'll be pouring it in tomorrow morning. Hopefully. Alright, until next time.